Well, good afternoon, good evening. Randy D. Rocks here with Kratom 911. Got a lot of good information for you to go over about Kratom. Uh, I'm going to link the Apple News report uh, down below. So take your time, read it when you've got a few extra minutes. Got, you're going to answer a lot of questions that you have. The reporter did an excellent job, an excellent job. And, uh, you know, Kratom, what I love about this story is they explain how, you know, Kratom is all natural. Kratom is all natural. See, that's the difference. An opioid is, is synthetic. Kratom is not synthetic. Kratom is a member of the coffee tree family, all natural. And there's millions and millions of Americans that use Kratom on a daily basis. They use Kratom to get their life back. You know, this day and time, you know, a companies, almost every company out there, drug tests. The first requirement they're going to have for an individual that's looking to get hired to get employed to become employed with a company is they're going to be required to do pre-employment drug tests. There's a lot of reasons for the pre-employment drug test. First of all, the insurance companies are going to require it. They're covering that employer in case the employee gets injured, then they're going to cover that employee's medical costs. They're going to basically cover their workers' comp benefits. And as part of that requirement, they require the proof that that employee was drug free when they went to work with the company. And also, there's going to be times when there's unannounced drug tests. They, they call them random drug tests. And if that, end of, if that employee cannot pass a drug test, they're going to usually be terminated on the spot. Now, what we're looking at, there's states, and uh, I'm, that's what I like about this report that uh, I'm linking to down below. It lists the states that are Kratom friendly. Most states, uh, Kratom is legal. It's legal. There are a few uh, states where it's, it's not legal. There's, you know, maybe five, six. Alabama uh, is one of those states, for example. Indiana is another state. Uh, Wisconsin right now. And there's a few more. I'll go ahead and post those on, on the YouTube channel so you can see them. Now, those are current. It could change at any time. There's some legislation, legislation going on like in Maryland right now where they're trying to restrict it. So, you know, that changes. But then there's other states that is passing what's called the Consumer Kratom Protection Act. All right, and it's for the benefit of the consumers. There's going to be requirements. It's going to be regulated just like uh, cannabis is in states like uh, Oregon, Colorado, Nevada, California. Well, Kratom is going to be regulated also. There's going to be requirements for the dispensaries. They're going to have to be basically have uh, what's called SOPs, uh, operating procedures. There's going to have to be uh, background checks for the owners. Uh, you know, all the Kratom's going to be required to be tested. That's very, very good. That's for the consumer. So there's a movement going forward. And also right now, Kratom is one of the most searched terms in social media. And all the social media platforms, Kratom is really being searched. Uh, one of the most searched herds out there right now. So the momentum is picking up every day. More and more people are looking to get clean. They're looking to get their lives back. They've got families that they, got, they have to support. They have to be employed to support their families. And they're, they're looking and they're looking and they're researching and they hear about Kratom. That's why Kratom 911, this is our life mission, to put the information about Kratom out there so that anybody, anybody, if they're breathing, they can go to Google, they can go to Instagram, they can go to Twitter, they can go to TikTok, they can go to YouTube and search, like for example, hashtag Kratom, and they're going to find out about Kratom. They're going to have a lot of their questions will be answered. That's what's beautiful about the social media platforms. 
These individuals, you know, let's say they're working. Let's say they do have a job. And then they, they come home and they're, they're, they've got a few minutes. They can get onto their computer or they can get on their smartphone and they can begin searching for different Kratom terms. And, and, and then they can get the facts. They can basically, if they have questions, for example, let's say they could be an alcoholic, for example. They've got an issue with alcohol. Alcohol is a drug. And, uh, you know, so they're looking for a way and, and, and they'd like to get off the alcohol. There's been a lot of folks that has basically used Kratom to get off the alcohol. There's some folks out there that's on the, on the opiates. They, they made the decision. I'll give you an example. There's a young lady. Uh, I'm going to post uh, her, her link on, on, this, on this video right here. She lives in Hawaii. She's got four babies, four babies. She's been on some boxing. Now, she realizes that she would like to have a better life for her children. She's looking to do the right thing. And when she began going out here, she researched and she found out about Kratom. But where she's looking at to go purchase the Kratom, it's like, well, you know, what they call the head shop, for example. And, and they're trying to sell this young lady for like four or five grams for $40. Now, she said, you know, she's trying to feed her babies, all right, diapers, uh, baby formula. Uh, you, if you've had children, you know what that's like. But she's also looking to get clean for her children. Now, if you do the math, $40 even at four grams at $40 or even five grams at $40, that comes out about to eight to $12,000 a kilo. That's incredible. How do they expect someone, it's basically called greed is what it is. So what we're doing on Kratom 911 is we're basically going to put the contacts together, individuals together, that, you know, where it's legal now, states where it's legal, where Kratom's legal, so, you know, we believe in, in following the, the rules, the regulations, but for states where Kratom is legal, put together the, the, the consumer with the farmer, the Kratom farmer or the Kratom vendor, who is looking to give the product at a reasonable price, not $10,000 a kilo. And, uh, you know, it's, it's way, way more uh, simple and it's not that price. I mean, that's just, that's incredible. That's just pure greed. And the young lady, so she was talking about in her video that she had to make a choice of whether she'd like to get clean and get off the Suboxone or basically feed her babies. And, and she shouldn't have to be put in that situation is what I'm saying. That's why it's important that you know, it's made more available. Kratom's made more available that there's more, uh, like the dispensaries, for example, like in the article, you're going to see, I'm not going to name any names, but in the article, they, they basically name the dispensaries, the locations, uh, it's lab tested. Uh, and so an individual can actually go there and for basically dollars, dollars, like, you know, uh, uh, the cost of uh, maybe a couple of, uh, uh, you know, Big Mac combos, you know, they could have their Kratom and, and basically become, you know, opiate free. So that's why we put the information out there for you on Kratom 911. So, you know, a mother shouldn't have to make the choice where she's gonna feed her children, diaper them, or, or get clean for them. I think she should be able to do both. And that's why we post the information on Kratom 911 out there for you. So that that mother, instead of her having to try to raise four babies and then get some time and research on her own and do the heavy lifting and try to, oh, where can she find some Kratom? That's why we put the information out there on our channel. That way she can go there, she can watch the videos. Hey, she has any questions, she can hit us up on uh, Instagram, direct messages, make any comments. And what we do then is we go to the sources that we have gathered over the years to get the answers for her. Or for, if let's say it's a father, it could be a father. 
and uh, he's out there and, you know, he got on opiates and he's looking to get off of it and he's doing the best he can, but he's working all day. And, uh, you know, uh, he comes home, maybe he's self-employed. Let's say he's self-employed. He could be working construction. And he made the decision to do the right thing and get clean for his family. And so he comes home, he's tired at night. Well, what happens is he could watch our videos. He could basically, like the reports we link to, he could read those reports. I mean, think about this for a moment. Apple News is probably one of, in the top three news agencies in the world. I would say it's probably in the top three. And uh, so he could basically go read the report and he's going to get a lot of information, a lot of answers to the questions that he has. And that's why on Kratom 911, we basically uh, put the information, the contact information, and we do appreciate all the emails that we get. Uh, we appreciate all the direct messages that we've got. And that's why we work with you to help to give you that information, to get you those answers to those questions. That way you have the time you can live your life. You can enjoy your family. Because obviously that's why you're watching this channel right now. You're looking to do the right thing. You're looking to get clean. You're looking to get your life back. And we like to work with you to help make that dream of yours a reality. And if we can do anything for you, hey, instant messages. Send us a, a, a text. Hey, uh, send us an email. I'll put my email, I'll put our email down there for you also on this, on this video. And that's what we're here for, to work together. Uh, I'm going to have some more uh, footage. I, I'm, I'm going to get someone that has a big factory, a big Kratom factory. I've got some footage I'm getting. Uh, basically, it's thousands and thousands of Kratom trees along the riverbanks. And this factory, uh, I was probably going to do that on the next video. It's a Kratom factory. And they produce tons and tons and tons of Kratom. There's no reason it should be some, some head shops trying to sell it for, you know, to a mother for $10,000 a kilo. That's just pure greed. But I'm going to put those videos out there and uh, you'll have access to them. And until next time, your best friend in the universe, Randy D. Rock saying peace.